In this question, a scientist wants to determine what mass of nitrogen trifluoride, NF3, could be made from 98.4 grams of fluorine, F2. We're provided with the balanced equation for this reaction, and we're provided with the molar mass of each substance in the table. Okay, so this question looks quite a bit more complicated than the previous skill, but it's exactly the same. The only difference is that we also need to convert between moles and mass, as well as converting from moles of one to moles of another. So let's think about our workflow. We're starting with mass of fluorine. So that's our question. We've got 98.4 grams of fluorine, F2. And eventually, we need to figure out grams of NF3, nitrogen trifluoride. That's where we're trying to get to. To do that, first we're going to have to get each of these things into moles so we can convert between the moles using the conversion factor we'll get from the equation. So first we're going to go to moles of F2. Then we're going to go from that to moles of NF3, then we're going to go from that to grams of NF3. So we can't do one big step. We've got to first convert the mass to moles, then do our conversion using our conversion factor from the equation, the balanced equation. Then we'll convert that moles into gr grams to finally get our answer. Okay, so firstly, Let's convert our grams of F2 into moles of F2. So to do that, to convert between grams and moles, we use our molar mass, and we're told that fluorine F2 has a molar mass of 38.00 grams per mole. And remember, what that means is that 38.00 grams of F2 equals one mole of F2. That's our conversion factor. So in our conversion dimensional analysis table, we start with our question and our unit, which is 98.4 grams of F2. We want to get rid of grams of F2. We want that to cancel out. So we're putting that on the bottom. And on the top, we want moles of F2 because that's what we can convert into right now. Then we need our numbers to make sure the top and bottom of our fraction are equal. So we found from our conversion factor from the molar mass that one mole of F2 is equal to 38.00 grams of F2. Awesome. Okay, so that's our first step, converting from grams to moles of F2. Next, we want to convert from moles of F2 into moles of NF3. So now we're going to use our balanced equation to do that. So... Here we've got F2 on the left, we've got three moles of that in our equation. On the right we've got NF3, we've got two moles of that in our equation. So let's write that out as a conversion factor. We've got three moles of F2 gives two moles of NF3. So there's our second conversion factor that we're going to use now to get from moles of F2 into moles of NF3, which is what we're trying to figure out. So in our back in our dimensional analysis table, I'm putting moles of F2 on the bottom so that that will cancel out. I'm putting moles of NF3 on the top because that's what I want to try and get into. Then I need to add my numbers. We found that three moles of F2 gives two moles of NF3. So that's why I've got my numbers there in the table. Okay, great. So we've now gotten from grams of F2 to moles of F2. Then we converted moles of F2 into moles of NF3. But the question doesn't ask for the moles of NF3, it asks for the mass of NF3. So we still need to convert our moles of NF3 into grams of NF3. And remember, anytime we're converting between moles and grams, we're using our molar mass. So here we're provided with the molar mass of NF3, it's 71.01. .01. And what that tells us is that 71.01 .01 grams of NF3 is equal to one mole of NF3. So that's going to be our conversion factor we're going to use down here. So moles of NF3 is going to go on the bottom because we want that to cancel out. 
we want to end up with grams of NF3, so that's going to go on the top. I want one mole of NF3 is equal to 71.01 .01 grams of NF3. Okay, wonderful. So we've now got our dimensional analysis table set up. We just need to do our calculation. And this works exactly the same as usual. It's just a little bit bigger with a few more steps. So we're going to cancel units that are the same on the top and the bottom. So first we'll cancel grams of F2. Then we'll cancel moles of F2. And finally we'll cancel moles of NF3. So we're just left with grams of NF3, which is great because that was our goal. Then we're going to multiply everything on the top multiply everything on the bottom and divide. So that gives us 98.4 multiplied by one, multiplied by two, multiplied by 71 grams NF3, divided by 38 multiplied by three, multiplied by one. So if we put that all into our calculator, that gets 123 grams of NF3. Let's do one more question of this type. Here we have a scientist who wants to determine what mass of dinitrogen trioxide, N2O3, could be made from 4.26 moles of nitrous acid, HNO2. And again, we're provided with the balanced chemical equation for this reaction. And we're provided with the molar mass of each substance in the table. Okay, so let's write out our workflow again. So we're given 4.26 moles of nitrous acid, HNO2. And we want to convert that into grams of N2O3. So that's our goal. But to do this, first we're going to have to convert moles of HNO2 to moles of N2O3 using the equation provided to get our conversion factor between those then we can convert from moles of N2O3 into grams of N2O3. So you'll notice this question has one less step than the previous question we did because the question isn't posed in grams. So we don't have to first convert from grams to moles. We're already given the moles on this one. The important thing to remember is we always need to convert into moles if we don't already have them before we can start converting the type of substance that we have because we need to be in moles in order to use that mole ratio from our chemical equation. Then we can convert to grams at the end if we need to. Okay, so our first step is going from moles of HNO2 into moles of N2O3. So we're gonna use our chemical equation to get our conversion factor for that. So we have two HNO2 and one of N2O3. So that gives us two moles of HNO2 gives one mole of N2O3. So that's gonna be our conversion factor we're gonna use right now to go from moles of HNO2 to moles of N2O3. So we've got our question, 4.26 moles of HNO2 in our conversion table. We're going to put the same unit on the bottom, moles HNO2, because we want that to cancel out. We want to end up with moles of N2O3. So that's going to go on the top. Then we need to put in our numbers to make sure the top and the bottom of our fraction are equal. So we had two moles of HNO2 equals one mole of N2O3. Okay, that's our first step. Our second step is now going from moles of N2O3 into grams of N2O3. And remember, anytime we're converting between moles and grams, we need to use our molar mass. And this is our compound, N2O3, with a molar mass of 76.02. So that tells us that 76.02 grams of N2O3 
equals one mole of N2O3. So that's the conversion factor we're going to use now. We want moles N2O3 on the bottom, so they'll cancel out. Grams N2O3 on the top, because that's what we want to end up with. And then we'll put in our numbers. One mole of N2O3 is equal to 76.02 grams of N2O3. Okay, wonderful. So final step, cancel units that are the same on the top and the bottom. Moles of HNO2 cancels with moles of HNO2. Moles of N2O3 cancels with moles of N2O3. And we're just left with grams of N2O3, which is exactly what we want. Then we can go ahead and do the calculation. 4.26 multiplied by 1 multiplied by 76 grams of N2O3 divided by 2 times 1. And when we put that into our calculator, we get 162 grams of N2O3. So in these questions, you can see the chemistry part of the question is using our chemical equation to find our conversion factor. And that part is exactly the same as in the previous skill. Then we also need to convert between moles and grams using the molar mass of each compound as our conversion factor. And I would always recommend starting by writing out a map of your plan to get from what's given in the question to your goal to make sure you add in all the steps needed because we need to end up with moles at the beginning before we can convert into moles of a different substance. So if you're given a number in grams, you're gonna to need to convert that into moles first. Then we can do that mole conversion using our conversion factor from the equation. Finally, we can convert that from moles into grams at the end if we need to.